Yo, what is up everybody? What is up? Welcome back to the channel. You already know who it is, y'all. James Banco in the building. And today we got what is it? Soluminati's uh quitting weed day four. Now I watched um the first like the the first two videos where he was talking about, you know, how he was uh, wanting to stop smoking weed. He wanted to, you know, stop being so dependent so being, and being so addicted to it. And just, you know, he's just been capturing his journey in regards to getting that done. Um, I was going to make a, not a reaction, but a, a, a reply to uh, the first two videos he did. But I just never got around to it. So I figured I will just react to this. And just say what I was going to say in that video. This video is like 12 minutes long though. But hopefully this nigga get right to the point. Because man, this I ain't going to lie. He be rambling like a motherfucker. But we're going to watch this shit anyways. And hopefully, you know, my man's just making some improvements. As far as, you know, trying to quit that weed shit in its entirety. But let's go and watch this video. I'm going to stop and pause. Just, you know, uh, just to get my thoughts and shit. And just, just in case there's anything I need to say in regards to that. I ain't watched this shit yet. But we gonna watch it right now, so let's get into it, bro. I feel absolutely amazing, bro. I feel phenomenal. I feel fantastic. That's good. I feel like a new man. I feel reborn. That's good. I'm getting straight to the point. I'm, why waste time, right? Come on. Let's get straight to the results. How do you feel? Right. I feel good. <laughs> now look. I look. <laughs> I can't take this nigga serious sometimes. But we gonna get back to this shit. Come on. Day one, stress. Okay. Day two, stress. Okay. Day three, mm -hmm. and you feel yeah. good, but you yeah. still got the little baby urges. Day four, I feel nothing. Okay. I feel like I never smoked before. You don't. The thoughts that come, the, the weed thoughts that used to come and just mm -hmm. plant on my head, yeah. and I'd just be thinking about weed all day. Yeah. Every time I come back home, I always just, just be thinking about weed all day. Now, them thoughts is like this. It just go away. You still gonna think about weed. You still gonna have urges, but the urges won't. It won't be. It won't be as intense as the days keep going. It won't be intense. Okay. Now look, this video gonna be the quickest. The quickest video I have ever made because yesterday was so easy for me. It was so simple. It felt like a regular day. Mm -hmm. Um, after I dropped that video for y'all, obviously the same old routine. I went to go work out. Got a great workout there. After I got done working out. Obviously, I came back home, and normally when I come back home, because home is where I used to smoke at, so it's like nothing to do but just think of what I, the habits that I picked up. You know, it's nothing to do but just think about weed all day. Mm -hmm. And um, instead, when I came home, I found myself having a conversation on the phone with somebody that I have never been on the phone with that long. And I was on the phone with him for like an hour, and this was my merch guy. Normally, when we be on the phone, we be strictly talking about business. Man, we was on the phone talking about life. We was talking about everything I got for it. I, I got to look forward to. We was talking about the videos I'm about to bring for y'all. That's good. We was talking about me traveling and shit. Bro, we was having a good ass conversation. I have never, ever, ever had conversations with people on the phone. Like, literally, I'm not the type to talk on the phone, bro. Like, I, I'm a bad Crazy. text. I was a terrible, I just felt like I was a terrible person when I was on weed. Um, a lot of people that I used to talk to, I stopped talking to them because I just didn't feel like it. Um, you could kind of say I went Hollywood. Like, I was just to myself, kind of just. Okay. My circle was real small. and um, But, like, I had a conversation on the phone with my merch guy. This is the dude that made uh, the clothes for my for my game and shit. Uh, for Guminati game. And, man, we was talking about everything. And y'all remember day three I told y'all. Um, y'all remember? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta stop the video real quick because... Okay, this is good. Everything is good. Everything he's doing is good. It's, everything is fine. But... You was talking to the merch guy? <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to make this no laughing matter or shit. Like, of all people, you were talking to the merch guy. You wasn't talking to Ash or any other girls or it, family members. It was the merch guy. Like I said, I'm not I'm not trying to make this no laugh matter. It's just of all the people you could have talked to. I mean, granted, you know, maybe you, you wanted to build a relationship with your merchandise guy. I don't know. 
But I think just of all the people, that's just kind of crazy to me. The merch guy. Remember day two, I told y'all that my mans came and did my yard, and I was chopping it up with him and shit. You want, you just want to do shit to take time. You just want to hurry up and get to that neck. You know what? You know what's crazy though. Um, I've been going through a little transformation and shit too, as far as my mood and shit, and trying to feel better about stuff. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been talking to strangers a lot more too. I've been more open to talking to people, which is crazy because I've never been this way. I've always been kind of like a, like a. Like, like really reserved. I don't really say too much. I don't go out of my way to try to talk to people unless girls. But, like, today I talked to, like, I was on my way to work. I talked to a lady on the elevator. I talked to another lady on my way out the building. Just, you know, just saying hello and how you doing and shit like that. I found myself doing that shit at work, too. You know, saying hello to everyone. Not even people that I really work with, but just walking past them, you know, just in passing. Just saying, hey, how's it going? How you doing? How's your day going? It's work good. Shit like that. I've been finding myself doing it a lot more now that I've been feeling better too. Because I was going through some shit a few months ago. Just some personal shit. I was real stressed out and shit. And that shit was really bringing my mood down. But as of late, I've been really... My mood's been improving. it. But this ain't even about me. This video ain't about me. It's about this nigga. Let me, let me stop rambling. Next day. The days will drag. You get what I'm saying? But day three, yesterday. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I got Ooh. home. I was on the phone with him for like an hour. I have never talked to him that long before. Okay. Then Ash, my girl, is back. So she's here right now. So she kept me entertained. Like I wouldn't think about week. Well, I was still thinking about it, but it's like, you know how on day one and day two you think about it. You just want to relapse. You want to go smoke. But day three and day four, it just it's like this. It just. This is the biggest thing with those who are trying to quit an addiction. You have to find something else to do. You have to replace this sh your bad habit. You have to replace that with something else. Just to, again, to get your mind off of it. Since Ash is there, she's able to get his mind off of that shit. But hopefully when she leaves, he don't go back to doing the shit. I hope to God he don't go back to doing the shit. And it's crazy because I told... Well, I commented on one of his videos today... Uh, Day, the day before, tell him like, yo, you need to just stay busy. Like, yeah, when you can't, when you come home, like, tell a nigga to go work out is probably the easiest thing you can tell him to do. But other than that, there's you have to find things that you enjoy doing, like hobbies outside of you know playing video games. Niggas ain't niggas don't like playing the game right now until the new 2K drop. Just be real, ain't nobody about to play the game until the new 2K drop. But outside of that, there has to be other things you enjoy doing, whether it's listening to music, um, reading, watching sports coloring just anything to get your mind off of that ash being there is great though because again with her being there she's going to be able to entertain you you know whatever the fuck y'all be doing and that's going to distract you from wanting to you know getting those urges back but hopefully when she leaves you find something else to replace that because if you don't you're probably going to go back to feeling you know those Getting those urges again because you ain't gonna have shit to do. You have to busy yourself. You have to find something to do at the end of the day. But shout out to Ash though. Go away. Them urges is gone. Like I feel, I feel great, bro. And I got everything to look forward to in life. Like I don't have. And with that, I still think it's crazy. If he wanted to quit weed, he quit it entire. Like he cut it all out. Usually with, with addiction, you don't want to do cold turkey right away. You might want to. You know, lower the amount you're doing it, and then go cold turkey. He just the fact that he did this shit, he was smoking a lot, and then just quit. That is kind of a, it's kind of scary, in honesty, because I mean that's probably why he was having cold sweats and shit too the other day, because those withdrawals are going to bite you in the ass. I don't have to smoke and sip wine and drink to be happy and feel like I. I'm probably not gonna watch this whole like video. I, feel like I got a drink. You know how you feel like you gotta get drunk to like have fun or get drunk to go this to shit a party already or too long anyway i could literally go to a party or anywhere a club or anything right now so i can't do that i have a good ass time i can't do that mm -mm. and it's only been four days bro listen if you can get past that bro if you can get past if you can make it to day when you wake up on day three mm -hmm. my bad yo when i talk man like get the fuck man. bro look if you can make it to day three you can do this day three is gonna be Day three tells it all, bro. You gonna wait? I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I think wait till like a week. <laughs> I've I've been around people who have uh, had addictions before. Those first few days are not easy at all. That first week is not easy. 
unless you have something to supplement the addiction that you had. Again, someone to keep you busy, something to entertain you. Then it gets easier. But if you you're just by, if you just by yourself, it's gonna be very tough. Day three typically isn't good. We'll continue. Wake up that morning on day three, and you're gonna feel totally different. Your brain is slowly refreshing itself. You get what I'm saying? Like your brain is refreshing itself, man. And um, everything wasn't all good yesterday. I'm not gonna lie. Everything wasn't all good. The bad thing is I still couldn't sleep, bro. I still couldn't sleep or eat. My appetite and my sleep is gone. I can't do it. Like still I still should be eating. O'clock. And I just woke up. I woke up at eight. I got two hours of sleep. Uh, I'm gonna I'm for sure, for sure, take some naps when I get done working out. I'm gonna try to burn out in the gym, work out as much as I can, and then come home and take a nap. But uh, okay, so the main reason why I couldn't sleep is because, obviously because the ass. insomnia. Is, <laughs> when you so I think it's because I ass. I, ain't I used lie. to smoke to go to sleep. Like I used to always smoke a blunt and then watch a movie and doze off. Had the best sleep of my life, huh? Now that that's gone, it's like I be trying to force myself to go to sleep, and now I'm in the game room. I had. Bro, I went from my bed to the floor to the game room. You still can't sleep or eat, man. That's And that's very important. Rest is very important when you're going through withdrawals. Mm-hmm. You want to get your rest so your body can really, really clean out all that shit. Rest and hydration, um, too. I Drink a lot of water. I cold sweats. I only sweated one time last night. It was like a cold sweats, and then I had, like, dried off, changed my shirt. And um, after that... I didn't sweat again, but I was like kind of up. I wasn't really asleep. Okay. And when you do go to sleep, you can't just sleep all day. Like, I don't understand mm-hmm. how on day three I got a lot of sleep, but on day four, I couldn't really sleep. You know what I'm saying? That don't make sense to me, but eventually my sleep schedule are going to come back. But that's the only bad thing. You can't sleep or eat. Mm-hmm. Your appetite is gone because you used to getting hot and munchies. You know, you used to eating everything in sight when you hot. This video long as shit. You used to sleeping when you hot. Now that you can't do that, that's the only thing that's taking longer than normal to get back to normal. But depression, anxiety, everything is gone. Day four, you gonna be a new man, bro. You could you could do this. Or a new mm. woman. Any girls, ladies that's watching this, you mm. I gotta pause there because anxiety and depression, it depends. I mean some people they do suffer from that and they're diagnosed with it as having a mental illness. Um I don't know what his case is, but that shit don't just... If if you're diagnosed with something like that, it don't just go away out of no... Like, like that because you quit smoking. It, it, it takes a lot for stuff like that. A lot of times you have to get... um You might have to get pre- prescribed for pills. I know my uh, uh, cousin of mine, he actually was suffering from that. He got prescribed weed, but um, as a way to help him with that. So, I don't know what his deal was with the anxiety and depression shit or the stress in general. I don't... I don't I'm not sure about that. I don't think. Um, ah, I, I, I don't. I, I don't want to talk too much about that actually. But that, mm, I, I feel differently about that. But we'll keep. We'll keep going because this video is like halfway through. This is getting way too long. You can do it too. If you're going through any bad habits, if you can get past that third day, you are going to do this, man. I promise you, you can do this. Um, it takes a lot of willpower. I want y'all to go watch day one and day two and day three videos and leading up to this point. I was not this happy. I was not this excited. I feel like I'm talking fast as hell right now. Mm. Like, I feel like I got all my juice, my girl back. I got everything to look forward to. 2K prelude in the drop. Mm-hmm. I have Can't never wait. been excited about Can't 2K wait. in my life. That game was lit, lit, lit. It do. And um, I'm about to be ready to go work out and uh, record it. Get some videos for y'all on my main channel. I got my juice back now, so I feel good, man. Good. Uh, but I want to let y'all know. My advice to y'all is, hey, just go watch the videos. I'm talking about more stuff. But this is day four. Y'all seeing me kind of, like, happy now. <coughs> but I wasn't like this on day one and day two. Day three, I felt good. But day three compared to now? <laughs> man, I feel extra nominal. I don't even know if that's what word, man. I'm making up shit. But, uh... Like I said, the only bad thing is. Hold up, this. I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got a cookie real quick. Did you just say astronomical? Didn't you go to college for like two days, my nigga? Not everybody can get into college. So for you to say astronomical. Somebody get my man's a dictionary, please. Help this man out. Astronomical, my God. Like, come on, man. You too grown to be pronouncing words. You, you can't be that. You, you. Let's continue. You're still not going to be able to sleep or really eat. 
And um, I think my fucking eating may be different from y'all because mm-hmm. I'm like a skinny dude in general, and I never really ate that much. But uh, I did when I smoke. I always ate, but when I like, I never was a big big eater. You get what I'm saying? Whoa. So some of y'all may not have these eating problems like me, or some of y'all may not have insomnia, or y'all may not, y'all may be able to sleep better than me and shit. Y'all may be. Everybody might feel different, but I want to let you know. Those are some effects you're going to feel. You're not going to really sleep. You're still going to have cold sweats. I had one cold sweat last night compared to, like, I used to have three. But uh, I sweated once last night, dried off, changed my shirt. Then I was laying on the floor. I, still- I ain't going to lie. This video getting longer. Shit, I'm about to just skip skip to the good parts. Like, this shit's taking way too long. You couldn't be talking about stuff. That it was that serious. Like, it caused anxiety and all this different stuff. And it was people... I seen people saying, man, they Hold serious, on. like they, man. and I've been seeing a lot of y'all saying, like y'all been going through different type of shit. Like I seen people talking about no fat. I heard of no fat, but I didn't know that that's it was a real that movement. Like, yeah, it caused anxiety and all this different stuff. And it was people. I seen people saying, man, they didn't. They was no fat is no beating your dick for all the little kids out there, teenagers. That's what no fat is. That's a real movement, though. The shit is hilarious to me, but that's a real movement. Keep that in mind ready to go to the army so they had to stop smoking i seen it's gone it's gone the only thing you got to worry about is eating and sleep once that come back then i'm a normal man it's not personal but my my health is more important than these toxic friendships that i had with these people that was have that was around me uh, i ate some noodles i just ate some uh cup noodles and i uh, drank a lot of water because i still ain't got no appetite i think that's just something serious about this nigga gotta learn how to cook dog can't be eating noodles the rest of your life, bro. That's that, that's gonna fuck you up more than weed is, in all honesty. That noodle shit, you can't you can't eat, you can't you can't eat that shit like all the time. With my appetite. But Get you like some chicken, put that shit in the oven, you'll be straight. Everybody gonna go through it, but I in this journey, I know y'all want to see how far I can go. Yeah. This is day four. If I feel this, another thing I want to tell y'all. All right, here when we you go. stop smoking, you gonna find yourself having conversations with certain people that you never even thought about having conversations. Yeah. That that varies from person to person, in all honesty. That's not it. Everybody's high isn't the same. The way he act, you y'all can smoke the same weed. Your high and his high is gonna be two different highs. I'm sorry. So the shit he's doing or unable to do on weed, that doesn't mean it's gonna be the same for you. Like me personally, I've dabbled with weed here and there. I I just ate an edible about 30 minutes ago, but I know. Me personally, I don't. I, I'm not a stoner or anything. I don't claim to be. I'm not getting high all the time. Just on occasion, I do that shit in moderation for a reason. Because I know, you know, what I what I can do and what I can't do when I uh, when I'm on that type of shit. But it's different for everybody. Like I said, me personally, when I'm on weed, I can still get shit done. It's just it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. You have to have the willpower to. Even though your body doesn't really feel like doing shit, you have to have the willpower to get that shit done anyways. Simple. <laughs> let's let's be real. You have to have the willpower to get that shit done. If you have the drive, you're not going to let the weed deter you from accomplishing goals. You're just not. If you feel like it's getting in the way, then the weed got to go. I mean, I, that's what's going on here. I'll take it. But... You can't blame the weed for everything, though. Know, in my opinion. I'm not saying he is, but I'm just saying you can't, oh, I was high so I couldn't do this. Then stop getting high. Oh, I'm addicted. Okay. But me personally, when, I, when, when I'm when i on the, when I'm high, like, again, I don't smoke. I just do straight edibles because smoking is not for me. I learned that at a very young age. Not very young, but my early adult years, I learned smoking is not for me because I get way too high and I cannot function. But um, edibles is definitely for me. It's not for everybody. But when I'm off of edible, it's a totally different high. And I mean, I can still get shit done. Shit, I mean, my motor skills be fucked, of course. But when I, I can't say of course, but I'll be lagging a little bit. I ain't going to lie. I'll be lagging. But I can still play the game. I can still, you know, talk to people, function drive i don't like to drive but if i have to i will um don't drive do not drive high do not drive high you should not be doing that if, if i find all y'all driving high i'm gonna call the cops on y'all 
But let's wrap up this video. It's almost over with. You're going to take the time out your day to really get to know certain people. Instead of like when you high and you just push everything away because you don't even want to blow your high. You with a good vibe. You feeling good. Yeah. You chilling. You probably on some lazy shit or anything. When you high off life, you enjoying the little things, you know? Mm hmm. You know? That's the shit that matters. Outside. It looks like it's a good day out there. Like, look at the sky. Hot as hell. I'm tired, bro. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why this nigga got a hoodie on in Arizona? What the fuck? In summer? Bro, if. I'm not even gonna pull off my phone and see what the temperature. I know it gotta be at least a hundred. No, 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 no. Maybe nineties, cause I know it's about seventy where I'm at. I'm in the Midwest, so. But, hey, we got every reason to be happy, man. We can't keep putting all this toxic shit in our body, bro. And I just want to motivate everybody around the world. And I want to thank y'all for all the motivation y'all gave me. This is day four. We gonna go to day seven. Mm. I'm gonna try to keep this shit going to day seven. Um, Cause I know it's gonna be a point, man. It's gonna be like, okay, I ain't feeling nothing no more. I just feel regular, you mm -hmm. know. And it's happening. Um, I want to let y'all know the urge is still gonna be there, no matter what. You still gonna have them thoughts about weed, but mm -hmm. every day, take it one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Those intense thoughts, like you just want to go smoke and relapse, it's going to slowly go away. Mm -hmm. I promise. This Come is day four. Solo minutes. Out. Thanks, God damn. All right, y'all. Well, that's it for. It his uh video um first of all i don't give a big shout out to illuminati for even taking the time to bring us into his personal life and put that shit all out there for everyone to see and judge um big shout out to you that's a very courageous thing you just did or that you're doing but i'm hoping he continues i really hope he continues i'm pretty sure you know as long as he got um you know some good people behind him like his girl and shit as long as she but she you know pushing him to not smoke weed that much i think you know uh, he should be able to knock this shit out the park easily plus with 2k coming out you got some uh, tonight really the prelude come out tonight i may have to ah oh, damn the prelude come out tonight i know that nigga gonna be on that shit so he'll have that to keep him busy a week later he got 2k to keep him busy so that'll be fine um but yeah shout out to solo Minotti. Um, what else? Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let me know in the comments below y'all thoughts on his journey. As well as the little shit I had to say in regards to that. This video long as shit. Look, I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. I will see y'all niggas later. Peace.